Hello and welcome to the News from Borean International with me, Keith Johnston. National Guard President General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty the King's personal representative, Supreme Council for the Environment President His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the Bahrain One team in winning first place at the NHRA Pro Mode Championship in Las Vegas, USA. The National Guard President praised the support of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, which led to the Bahrain One team to have a place in the international podiums and achieve a world title. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed affirmed that this global achievement is in addition to the series of sporting achievements that Bahrain boasts in various sports fields, especially in motorsport. He wished more success to Bahrain One team in their sporting career to shine the kingdom in the international forums. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the success of the Bahrain One team in clinching the first place and winning the NHRA Promote World Championship in Las Vegas. He also extended congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He paid tribute to His Majesty the King, hailing his royal supports to sports in the Kingdom of Bahrain, particularly motorsports, which shine at the regional and international levels. He also praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and said that the royal support was a catalyst to make this accomplishment for the second time in a row. He also praised Bahrain One team, which succeeded in retaining its title despite the current circumstances resulting from the outbreak of the coronavirus which affirms the capabilities of the Kingdom of Bahrain in overcoming all challenges. Brandon Snyder, this was a winner-take-all matchup. What pushed you to victory here today? Our team owner, Sheikh Abdul. Man, when you have a season like this, there's a lot of team owners that give up on you. When you run as bad as we've been running, there's a lot of people that give up on you. You have sponsors leave. You have people doubt you. Sheikh Abdul and our Bar Run Rain One team was never not behind us you got billy stockton on the keyboards you got my boys jack robert and drew over here working on the car you can't lose did a decent job of driving today this means a lot the first one i felt like was easier this one right here you had to the inter-parliamentary union announced the membership of the speaker of the representatives council and chairwoman of the parliamentary divisions executive committee for ZSNL in preparatory committee for the fifth parliamentary speakers conference by acclamation scheduled to be held in Vienna next year. The announcement was made during the remote meeting of the Inter-Parliamentary Union in which the Bahraini Parliamentary Division participated. The draft unified budget for the 2021 was discussed and agreed upon alongside the Union's agenda for next year. The Council of Representatives Speaker for Zia Zanal received the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel bin Abdurrahman al-Azumi. Zanal affirmed that the Kingdom's advanced status at the Arab, regional and international level reflects the greater impact of the march of national achievements, development and the democratic gains that have been achieved thanks to the wise approach of His Majesty the King. She congratulated al Azumi on his uncontested election as Speaker of the Arab Parliament, wishing him success in his duties. Zanal also noted the important role of the Arab Parliament in enhancing joint legislative action and defending the causes of the Arab nation affirming the Council's keenness to develop cooperation within the Arab Parliament. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, praised the extensive efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in combating the coronavirus pandemic by adopting a number of precautionary measures that have helped to mitigate the repercussions of the pandemic on the people. He also hailed the vital role of the national team, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, in adopting numerous measures that benefit all citizens and residents at many levels. The Minister affirmed that the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, and its companies have held many meetings since the spread of the coronavirus pandemic last March to discuss the latest updates 
and adopt the necessary precautionary measures to contract the virus and provide logistic support, as well as materials to mitigate the spread of the virus in work facilities. He noted that the oil sector receives keen attention of the leadership, which has resulted in the tangible development of this sector, which is vital to the economy. He also added that there are major oil projects currently being executed in cooperation with the world's biggest oil companies. Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said that reducing government expenditures in the state's budget for the fiscal years 2021 to 2022 clearly shows that the government started with itself by reducing its expenditures while continuing to improve the quality and efficiency of public services to enhance its working mechanisms and to develop its performance. Sheikh Salman said that the government, while working on the budget, prioritised the interests of the citizens and the high interest of the nation above all else. The Minister stressed that when preparing the state's budget for the next two fiscal years, consideration was accorded to maintaining social support for the citizens in greatest need and to committing the achievement, the objectives of the fiscal balance programme, mainly increasing non-oil revenues according to the plan set for the benefit of the country and the citizens. This came after the Cabinet on Sunday approved a draft budget for the fiscal year 2021 to 2022 and referred a draft law to the Council of Representatives for its approval in accordance with the legal and constitutional rules. Sheikh Salman pointed out that the drop in global oil prices and the slowdown in economic activities due to the coronavirus pandemic required adaption to the new facts. He added that this was reflected in the state budget for the next two fiscal years by adopting stimulating and supporting economic recovery and continuing to create promising opportunities for citizens in a way that contributes to achieving the goals of the Government Action Plan and building on previous achievements. The Minister said he was looking forward to enhancing positive cooperation and joint work under the one team spirit between the executive and legislative branches to approve the state's general budget for the fiscal years 2021 to 2022 in order to achieve the set goals and preserve the rights of the citizens. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, and the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yakal Ahmar, witnessed the launch of traffic signals at pedestrian crossing intersections in Salman City in the presence of a number of MPs and municipal council members and senior officials from both ministries. A total of 30 traffic signals were installed in the main side streets of Salman City due to the increase in traffic density in the area. The Ministry of Works in cooperation with the Ministry of Housing has supervised the installation of the traffic signals according to the Kingdom's quality standards. The Minister of Health, Faki El Saleh, announced that the Kingdom authorised the emergency use of the COVID-19 vaccine and that it will be made available voluntarily to frontline workers who deal with the most infected people with the coronavirus starting today in order to provide safety measures for frontline workers and protect them from any dangers they may be exposed to due to the nature of their work. El Saleh expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, for his directives and his keen interest in the efforts of the Ministry and the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus, as well as his keenness on maintaining the health and safety of the community. She added that the emergency use of the vaccine is in line with regulations and laws of the Kingdom that allow the exceptional use in emergency situations. This decision was made to consolidate the efforts and the coordination made with the United Arab Emirates, which authorised last September the emergency use of the vaccine for frontline workers. The Minister noted that the spread of the pandemic called for prompt decisions to enable the health system to continue its work to contain the virus and minimise damage. She noted that the results of the first and second clinical trials have indicated the safety of the vaccine, adding that all studies concerning its safety have been reviewed. This process is carried out under the strict supervision of medical teams and the Ministry of Health. The third phase of the vaccine's clinical trials in the Kingdom of Bahrain are currently proceeding smoothly without any record of serious symptoms. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,491 with 321 recoveries, 210 registered new cases and two deaths. 41 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 162 are contacts of active cases and seven are travel related. The deceased were an 85 and 72-year-old male citizens. 
The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges anyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.